Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Saturday, September 9th, 2023, and we are back with our college football best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, and notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post these college football videos every single day college football is on, along with the NFL and MLB. We have a winning year in the MLB right now. We're 30 and 10 in NFL right now. Um, we're going after our first 10,000 subscribers, our first seven months on YouTube. Really excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap yesterday, yesterday's results, we went one and one yesterday. We did under 57 and a half in um, Illinois and Kansas. That was a winner by the skin of our teeth. On uh, the Illinois uh, plus three and a half, that was a loss. Um, Brett Bielma, you got to look less stupid. I mean, in all reality, when they cut to him and they're losing, Brett Bielma looks like the dumbest motherfucker on the planet. So unbelievable there. I mean, the, the coach really matched the team, I guess. Um, so go overall, though. So the start of football season, we haven't been having had our best start. We're 13 and 18. But last year, we went 137.91. We won 68.3% of our best bets. Crazy enough, we won 60% of our best bets so far this year. Um, but we're going to get it going here today. So we have three free picks I'm going to give you all today. We have seven members only, at least. I might add one or two more. We have at least seven members only plays today and, and a couple best bets in there as well. Um, and again, that website, if you want to get those and get our full card, get full access to me and our free picks early, come a member at zdmbets.com slash picks. Website is linked in the comments description below. Definitely become a member today. It's There's the best value you can get today. Seven picks today is unbelievable. So I'll start with our first free pick of the day, which is going to be Nebraska plus three and a half versus Colorado. Now listen, I know everyone's going to kill me in the comments. Zach, did you watch Colorado against TCU? Did you watch them? Did you see that? Yes, I did. I watched every fucking minute of that game. And I'll tell you this right now. This game's going to be close. Now, I think Colorado wins. I'm just going to be just full out there. I think they're going to win. But I'm going to take Nebraska plus three and a half. Now, by the way, some of you are like, well, Zach, it's, it, at my sports book, it says plus three or plus two and a half. I bought it up to three and a half. I just did. I like the three and a half number better. It's like minus 135, minus 140, depending on your book. And with how much I'm betting, I don't really care about the odds in that case. Um, and listen, first off, I, I like the buying up the three and a half, but this game's going to be very close. Here's some few facts here going in this game. Number one, this is a rivalry game. This is a big rivalry game. Now, listen, I'm a Nebraska fan, just to be very real. My family's military, so our two teams are Penn State and Nebraska, just to be very clear with y'all. So I want to know my biases are there, but here's what. This game is a rivalry game. Colorado-Nebraska is a big freaking game for everyone involved in the game. Secondly, Colorado has gotten more press in the last six days than they have had in the last 23 years at a minimum. No one gives a shit about Colorado, like, at all. Now they care about him because of Dion, and Dion's done an amazing job. Um, college kids believe the hype as well. Dion, Dion is used to not believing the hype. Dion has had this kind of uh, fanfare since the 80s, okay? This guy, is, this guy is a superstar in every sense of the word. However, these other guys are not used to it. And I'm not talking about Travis Hunter. I'm not talking about Shadur Sanders. I'm talking about all the other guys who make the team go, too. And I think they're going to read their press clippings, the parties, all that stuff. I think it's going to be a little distracted. Fourth, Nebraska should have beaten Minnesota. They did cover the spread, but they absolutely should have beaten Minnesota. Without question, they should have beaten them. Um, and they're looking to avenge that loss. Also, Colorado is playing this game at 10 a.m. Colorado time. That's unbelievably early. And Nebraska is a run-first football team with Matt Rule. That's going to negate Travis Hunter's effect on defense a ton. And at the same time, you can talk about how good Colorado's offense was. Colorado's defense led up 42 fucking points, okay? So to me, I think Nebraska, I think this game's going to come down to the wire. I think this game's going to be awesome. And three and a half points, to me, is just too many points for Nebraska. Plus, seven days ago, there were seven and a half point favorites going into this game. I'm going to go with, Col I'm going to go with Nebraska, excuse me, plus three and a half. Next, we have UTEP's money line at minus 108 versus Northwestern. This is really all about fading Northwestern. They are so bad. They would have been bad with Pat Fitzgerald. They are worse without them. And Rutgers last week won 24 0. We had Rutgers minus six in that game, winner. But listen, UTEP isn't that good either. But listen, Rutgers is not a good football team, and they murdered this Northwestern team. Northwestern might not win a game all year. And UTEP, I trust UTEP's quarterback a little bit more than I trust, a lot more than I trust Northwestern's, because Northwestern's look like they never played football before. They also, UTEP has a ton of returning weapons. Um, and also, I just, again, I just don't trust Northwestern to win a game this year. They're seriously the worst team in the Big Ten by an absolute mile. They might be the worst team in college football. I'm going to take UTEP here to go to Northwestern to win. Plus, it's not going to be the, it's not going to be this horrible Chicago weather like it would be in November. UTEP is not going to have a substantial temperature change. I'm going to roll with them here. And then last, we have the over 50 in the uh, Charlotte and Maryland game. 
This pick like is kind of like the Northwestern pick. This is more about fading Charlotte than it is about Maryland. I also don't like the 24 and a half numbers. That's just way too much. But Charlotte had one of the worst defenses in college football last year. They didn't get any better. They probably got worse. And Maryland's offense got better. They had, they had the second tag of Viola brother, who, by the way, has been great for Maryland. It's tough because he's inferior talent in comparison to like a Penn State or like an Ohio State or a Michigan or something like that. But like he's been very, very good for this Maryland team for a very, very long time. Uh, Maryland also has a ton of returning offensive talent. They have some good transfers as well. Um, and I just think, I think Maryland could put up 50 by themselves. To me, I, I also Maryland's defense isn't like elite. They're like, okay. But to me, that tells me, okay, can Charlotte muster two touchdowns in this game? If the answer is yes, then Maryland's going to score 38 points at a minimum on them. So I like I like this going way over. I think this game could be a shootout. And by shootout, I mean like Maryland scores like 56 points, like 56-21. So I'd be over 50 here in Charlotte and Maryland. Now, like I said, everyone, we have seven members only plays today. Probably a couple more on there as well, along with a bunch of best bets. Um, again, that website you can get them at zdmbets.com slash pick. Take advantage of it, baby. We're going to be we're gonna be storming back here in college football very, very hard here. Love the plays today. Um, so, again, quick recap we have for the free side of things. We have Nebraska plus three and a half. We have UTEP money line minus 108. We have the over 50 in Charlotte and Maryland. So let's go lock in those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. And I will see you all tomorrow. Make sure you all check those other videos.